Hello, my name is Sean. And I'm Scotty. And today we're looking at the 15 do's and don'ts for the first time Las Vegas visitor. Are we ready for number one? Yeah, let's go. All right, number one, don't walk everywhere. <laughs> all right, I see tourists all the time on the Las Vegas Strip who are just walking and walking and walking, and then later you hear them just complaining and complaining and complaining. Because they're wearing they're heels. So tired, they're <laughs> wearing heels. They don't realize how far away everything is, okay? If you remember when we did our nine shocking secrets of the Las Vegas Strip video on the Screaming Monkey channel, okay, we discovered that there is a trick called the window trick that casinos use where they disguise things. Go watch the video, okay? They disguise things so that buildings look so much closer than they actually are. Mm -hmm. So, when you think you're going just right over there, it's actually like three miles down the strip. Ridiculous, right? You're gonna get tired. Yeah. Now, there are definitely ways to get around Las Vegas that will prevent this from happening. The very first one and the one that I recommend doing so that you're not you know, tired from walking all day is get a bus ticket. That's really smart. Isn't it smart? I mean, all you do, you pay $8, 24 hours, Unlimited access to all the buses in the city. You have two options. You have the Deuce, which is a double decker. Great view from the top. Same yeah. view people pay $65 to like tour companies to see. Okay. Um, and you have the Express, which will get you up and down the strip faster and take you all the way downtown to the all over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, don't walk everywhere. Don't get a bus it. ticket. The number two tip, Sean? Yes. Don't buy drinks at a casino bar. Never. They're so expensive. You're gonna spend like 15 to $20 a drink when you know how you can get them for free. I have my, my guesses. <laughs> so what you wanna do is you wanna sit down at a slot machine, put in your $5 and wait for that cocktail waitress to come around and get you a free drink. But don't forget to tip her because she actually pays a percentage uh, back on the drinks that you actually order. So I would go ahead and tip her. But it's a good way to get a drink for a dollar instead of two dollars. True. And then do make sure you are pressing the slot machine here and there. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. actually gamble. Like, I mean, gamble. have some fun. But, Don't just sit there. Right. But yeah, totally. You can get a drink for nothing almost. Almost nothing. And what's better than uh, free alcohol? Um, nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. I was like, huh? Nothing. Scotty, number three. Number three. Do have a plan. So many people come to Vegas and they are just clueless about what it is they want to do. Right. Right? So they like walk up and down the strip, like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, and they end up doing absolutely nothing. But there's a pitfall in having a plan too, though. What's the pitfall? Okay, so here's the thing. Before you come to Vegas, do your research. See what you might want to do. There's Make, so much to do there's here. There's so much. <laughs> Make a huge list of everything you're going to conceivably want to do when you're here, and then just kind of get rid of three quarters of it. <laughs> then, from that, pick out like five or six things that you absolutely must, must, must do while you're here and just focus on doing those things. But make sure you keep it nice and loose, right? Because Vegas is a town for distractions. Seriously. Yeah. You're going <laughs> to get sidetracked along your way to do the things on your list. And that's okay. Go with the flow. Have some fun with it. Just make sure you accomplish a few things on your list so you don't feel completely lost. And go and have fun with anything else that might just come your way. True. Yeah. So have Venture a Venture off the strip. <laughs> that comes later. Okay. It's on our list. <laughs> Number four, do prepare for the weather. Yes. You know, in Vegas, the weather could be 100 degrees in the summer. Easily. Easily. It could be super windy during monsoon season and really, really humid. Or it could be 30 degrees outside. Absolutely. During the winter. So I suggest packing and checking the weather before you come, making sure you pack all of your essentials. Absolutely. Because you know what happens is like all these people come in the middle of summer, right? True. For pool season. Okay, True. it's like July and August. Okay, and they think it's gonna be 100 degrees, 24 hours a day, which it probably will be, and sunny and bright and wonderful, but they don't take into account that we have monsoons here in Las Vegas. True. So it can go from bright and sunny and wonderful to lightning, thunder, pouring down rain with winds and trees toppling down on top of you. Oh, and only only for it to like come back in right. five minutes. And, and then it lasts for like five minutes and you're good, right? <laughs> so yeah, dress accordingly. Dress accordingly. Time for number five on our list. So do learn gambling basics. True. Unless you want to lose a load of money while you're here, okay? <laughs> You'll lose so much. Right. I see people every single day making incredibly critical gambling mistakes on True. casinos, okay? Casino floors. It's insane. Everything from not playing as many lines as they should on a slot, to holding the wrong things in video poker, to, you know, throwing money away at the table. Yeah. 
Um, I literally walked past somebody the other day playing a video poker machine that threw away what would have been otherwise a perfectly winning hand because obviously they had no clue what they were doing, okay? <laughs> So, if you do not want to just throw your money in the garbage can when you walk in the casino, learn some gambling basics. It's not hard to do. True. Okay? Uh, all you gotta do is go to YouTube. You're on YouTube now, probably. So, you don't really have to even really think about it. Just click over to a video after you watch this one and learn how to gamble. It's not hard. And then you won't be throwing your money away when you go into the casino. Do you really want your money in their pocket? Number six, don't listen to other gamblers. I mean, even your Uncle Benny, you know, who may seem like a big shot, probably doesn't know what he's doing. I guarantee you he probably doesn't know <laughs> what he's doing. He probably doesn't know what he's doing. So I wouldn't listen to him. Get some real information. Um, slots are random, so you should just know that. All so, random number generator. And uh, video, poker. Video, video poker. video poker. video poker takes a little bit of skill. Lots of skill. Lots of skill. To do it right, <laughs> yes, absolutely. So. Uh, tables have fixed odds. Okay. Okay, so, you know, you're gonna lose a certain amount over time. I'm learning Unless there. you get lucky. Okay, I mean, that's really the way it is, so plan ahead. Uh, there is not a magic formula for a lot of these things, except for know the game. Or count cards. Which will get you thrown out of a casino eventually. <laughs> um, don't count cards. <laughs> or get so good at it they don't know. Um, and then, just basically bottom line, don't listen to everyone who says, you know, if you play 30 cents on the machine and then go to 60 and then 30 and then put a troll doll on the top of it um, and then walk around it and then sacrifice a chicken, that you're gonna win, because you're not, because you really have no control over it. Slots are a big one on that one. Right. In video poker, it's really simple. Do the correct strategy. The yeah. only thing I've learned is the more you bid, the more chance you have of winning, though. That is true. That is true. That if you're affect. bidding five cents, a, a, you're not gonna you're not right. gonna hit the jackpot. But basically, you want to know about gambling? Ask a casino employee. They will tell you the correct information. The rules are also listed, right? right the rules are listed. There are pamphlets in every single casino that explain the odds to you for every single game. So do your research. Don't listen to your uncle, no matter how much time he spends at a casino, because I guarantee you, most of it's BS. Uncle Benny is a loser. Scotty, guess what time it is? What's the time is it? It's time for <laughs> lucky number seven. It is a Got Vegas it. video of lucky number seven. Nice. I couldn't resist. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, and it's a two. <laughs> do use ride share. Do it. Okay, Uber and Lyft are your best friends when you're in Las Vegas, okay? Taxis, not so much. I will illustrate this with a personal story. All right, good. Okay, when I first moved here, mm -hmm. I was at a casino, right, slightly off the strip. All right. Okay, and I got just a little bit tipsy. <laughs> okay. I know it's hard to believe, but it did happen. Okay, and so I got in a taxi like a responsible human being. Proud of you. Okay, got in the back seat, gave him my address, and took a taxi ride home. It cost me sixty-five dollars. Oh no. I know. So. Another time I was at the same casino, I wasn't drunk, intoxicated, whatever, full of food, but I was not drunk. <laughs> and I took a cab home again. How much was it that time? It was $15. Hmm. I was long haul the first time, obviously. I was taken advantage of by a taxi cab, which apparently happens all the time. I also had relatives come and stay with me at one point, and it cost them roughly $60 or $75 to go from the airport to my house, which really also should have also cost $10. Yeah. Yeah. So, bottom line, this stuff doesn't happen on Uber and Lyft. So while you're in town, avoid the taxi cabs um, and take rideshare. Yeah. You will save a ton of money. And you're in Vegas, a lot of our rideshares have like the coolest, there's like the, they're, they're the coolest. Oh yeah, the they'll drivers? deck them out. Yeah, they'll deck them like out. Disco, like, like it's like, it's well, amazing. Well, it's kind of amazing. Uh, it's pretty cool. And, um, you know, it's actually really awesome too because they always arrive within like one or two minutes. True. Like you never have to wait in Vegas for like right And then you can ever. get, yeah, and then of yeah. course you get the, um, the, the thing that tells you how much your ride's gonna be before you even Right, take exactly. It. So no surprises. Take ride share in Vegas. So that was number seven of 15 tips yes. for first time visitors to Las Vegas. Right. Okay. We're gonna split the other half of them, eight through 15, into what? its own video. <laughs> for your watching enjoyment. Now, you're watching this right now on screwymonkey.com or youtube.com YouTube slash, slash screwymonkey. Screwy well, we have a brand new channel. <gasps> I know. What? Exactly. <laughs> it's called What's New Vegas. What's New Vegas? What's New Vegas? <laughs> uh, and it can be found at whatsnewvegas.com and also uh, the YouTube channel by the same name, What's New Vegas. So the follow-up video to this is going to be one of the very first videos on our brand new 
What's New Vegas channel. <gasps> so if you would like to see the rest of this list, go ahead and click the link in the description or the info card that I'm gonna put here or at the end of it, this video, there will be a link to that video, I hope, or that channel, Perfect. one or the other, right? <laughs> um, so that you can go over there and watch the other half of this list. Right. All right. And, and then, while you're there, subscribe for all the new <laughs> Vegas content because eventually all the Vegas content from this channel is going to be moving to that channel. Yes. Okay. Um, so make sure you subscribe over there. Make sure you subscribe here for all the other fun stuff we do. Um, thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for doing all the stuff we do every single video. And thank you for joining us as we celebrate, celebrate human, human culture, culture one screwy monkey at a time. time.